African continent, a continent that is rich, a continent that is powerful, a continent that is the world to the world because we are the ones who give the world all the minerals and all the wealth that they have. The leadership and accomplishment of all the women that are here, women vice presidents, ministers, deputy ministers, speakers and members of the legislatures and top uh, business uh, people, uh, captains of industries, you are just amazing um, as women and you are incredible leaders. And we are very proud of women leaders all the time because we always know that where there is a woman, things happen. We do wish to welcome you in Guasim Natal, the best place of the African Union, which came into being in 2002, and where the vision of the Africa really was visualized by our leaders. Our common destiny joins us at the hip with you as the daughters of Africa. For Africa to thrive, women must take the center stage and lead because when women lead, Africa wins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this conference is taking place and it has made its way around the world and around the continent and the African diaspora, sharpening itself and gaining traction with its commands among the leaders of the world, especially among those leaders that are women, that are shaping each other, that are supporting each other, that are picking up each other. From its humble beginnings in the streets and the boardrooms of Accra, Ghana, the African Women's Leadership Organization, has become a premium forum for women from across Africa to network, to get educate each other, to support each other, to lead, to advocate, but also to say, I am here, my sister. We can make it together. Mm. We are really grateful, um, Dr. Atai, because I know I have attended a few sessions, um, I'll be virtually um, during the COVID-19. And I, I really got to experience um, the power of women leaders in those sessions. I remember at one stage, we, we did not want to park, we were just going on and on until very late at night during that session. We got to meet each other, we got to exchange emails, and we got to really talk about a lot of things that can empower um, uh, women and also empower women in our countries because it's always important that those of us who've been able to make it to this level are able to pick up other women, are able to hold other sisters mm -hmm. and warm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's become very important that as we drive around and see those women who are lying in the streets selling their things on mm. the streets, we remember them. Mm. And we think about them all the time as to how can we help them to reach where they want to reach. Because we know that as they are lying on those streets, they are feeding their children, they are making our kids to go to universities, they are making families, they are growing families, and they are building nations, and they are building us. That's why we are here. Mm. That's why we are what we are today, because of this woman made me grow. So we are really grateful um, to have the organization that knows that when you empower the women, you empower the nation. Mm. As president of Ghana in 1960, soon after gaining independence in 1959, Dr. Nkrumah organized a historic conference of women in Africa and the diaspora. This was not to celebrate women's contribution to the liberation struggle, but it was a platform for reflection on their future role in a free and united Africa. That meeting underscored the deep conviction amongst pan Africanists and about the revolution and the revolutionary role of women and highlighted the fact that 
the liberation of Africa is impossible without the emancipation of all women of the continent. Addressing the opening of the conference of the women of Africa and African descent, Dr. Kruma reminded the women of that singular importance to the liberation of Africa, and he said, and I wish to quote, there is a great responsibility in resting on the shoulders of all women of Africa and African descent. They cannot realize that the men alone cannot complete the gigantic task we have to set ourselves free. The time has come when the women of Africa and African descent must rise up in their millions to join the African crusade towards freedom and to free our nations, and I close quote. There was a this conference at which Ashili Du Bois, the wife of um, Du Bois, made an impassioned plea to the women of Africa, and where she said, and I quote, this great giant Africa, which was anathesized for so long, it is not awake, and has shaken itself out of a slumber that for so many years enabled exploiters, masqueraders, to plunder its wealth. The new African has arrived to the scene. Colonialism, imperialism are on the line, fleeing from the blows of African erudition. What is the woman's part in this great struggle of the African liberation? And I close quote. And it is, these words. it is these words that must remind us as women of Africa, but also as men of Africa, that it's time that we wake up from Islam, mm. that it is time that we take our rightful place mm. in growing this Africa as a big nation. Mm. Indeed, here in South Africa, following the decades of struggle, on August 9, more than 20,000 South African women marched against racism and national oppression in Victoria. This set the stage for broadening of the mass struggle against exploitation and oppression of apartheid by um, our people. And this cemented a woman's struggle, and they never looked back. Within the African National Congress and the organization, there was a process of radical and historical transformation that mirrored the development of the nationalist and continental movement to accommodate women in the front um, leadership. I must say that uh, with the AWLO um, declares its, its, um, its vision, that we envision a world where women take their rightful place as home and nation builders with equal opportunities and equal access in all areas. Program director all around the world of Africa, the African descent from generations will find this organization, not just an organization, but a warm home in which their true potential can be nurtured, their true potential can be realized through this close interaction, through, through this woman and power that we need to hold hands and ensure that we move this movement forward. Having traversed around every part of the continent and being held in USA at some times with this conference and having held in so many countries, we are really grateful and are pleased that at the same time that this conference has designated myself as a chief of of this wonderful gathering. We are indeed pleased 